Patrick Colville was 13 years old when his family moved to Gainesville, Florida. His family was deeply religious and quickly joined St. Patrick's Parish. It was where he met Father John Dukes. In January 1976, Patrick says Father Dukes took him to the state fair in Tampa. In the hotel room that night, Patrick says Dukes raped him. Yeah, I was screaming stop. I went in the bathroom and I hid in the shower for the rest of the night. At one point I said, you shouldn't be doing this, aren't you a man of God? My profession says I just can't have sex with women. He stalked me afterwards, came to my house, um, stayed in, in, entwined in my family to the point where he was the priest who officiated my brother's wedding seven years later. For decades, Patrick said he told no one. Instead, he wrote it all down, put it in an envelope, and gave it to his sister. After more than 40 years in 2019, Patrick decided to tell his story. He says he first complained to a diocese in his hometown, then to attorney after attorney. Finally, he says he reached out to the diocese on his own. I thought the day that I spoke these words, um, people were going to stand up and scream oh my god and and you know it was going to be fire and brimstone or whatever you know i just thought someone was going to do something but that's not the case and i waited for over two months for them to respond they never did they never never even called me back in april 2019 patrick's attorney sent a letter to the bishop of saint augustine felipe estevez detailing the assault Eight months later, in December, the Diocesan Review Board said it found the allegations against Father Dukes to be credible. Three months later, in March 2020, the diocese told its parishioners, the Diocese of Charleston, where Dukes was working as a priest, and the Archdiocese for the military, in which Dukes served as a Navy chaplain for more than 20 years. After the March 2020 announcement, another person came forward, saying Father Dukes sexually assaulted them in the early 1980s. These details became public because of a statewide investigation into sex abuse in Florida's churches. In Diocese of St. Augustine records released after the investigation was closed, it showed officials knew of at least one other allegation of abuse against Father Dukes. We learned that a Diocesan Review Board report in 2008 found Father Dukes responsible for clergy abuse against a former altar boy at St. Madeline's in High Spring, Florida. Board members determined Father Dukes groomed the boy before starting a consensual relationship with him when he turned 18 years old. That 2008 board also recommended that Father Dukes, who is a priest within the Diocese of Charleston, have his religious faculties be removed. Faculties that were removed in 2020 after Patrick reported his abuse. We asked the diocese if Father Dukes got his faculties back after losing them in 2008. And we asked why the diocese told parishioners in 2020 it had no prior credible allegations of sexual misconduct with the minor against Father Dukes. The diocese said it does not publish statements if allegations of sexual abuse against minors are not found credible, and that the original bulletin to parishioners was accurate. Patrick is now advocating for a law that would extend the statute of limitations so people who were abused as children but are now adults can file civil lawsuits against their abusers and the churches that enabled the abuse. Efforts this legislative session were criticized for not going far enough back. And according to the representative that filed the legislation, it won't be passed this legislative session. You know, I'm done um, being embarrassed. I'm done um, being ashamed. Uh, it's what I've um, tried to do for the last four years is, is um, you know, make people aware and get, get some legislature passed to correct what you know, what has been done.